Hey everybody, it's John King with Summit Funding. It is Friday, June the 3rd. It has been a crazy start to uh, June. So first of all, jobs report came out this morning. Jobs were stronger than expected. We have a lot of confusion right now. We have a lot of confusion over, is there a recession happening now or not? Is there a recession coming? What's kind of crazy is that we actually have the expectation of a recession that's almost going to make a recession come true, even if it didn't need to. Here's what I mean by that. Banks are actually predicting a recession is happening right now, and they're pulling back in lending. Well, when they pull back in lending, that means that they're cutting back jobs that they're going to have for lending. That means people don't have money to spend, to grow their business, to invest. And that's actually going to perpetuate a recession happening sooner. We're almost creating a self-fulfilling prophecy that's going to lead us into recession sooner versus later. But like I talked about last week, my worry is stagflation. My worry is we still have significant inflation, yet we're going to cause a recession at the same time. That's a recipe for disaster we haven't dealt with since the late 70s, early 80s, where we had huge inflation and job losses at the same time. So hold tight, but I'm worried this week as I see more and more banks and companies talk about the fact that, hey, we're pulling back because we think there's a recession. That pullback is going to cause the recession. All right. On another note, I've got a lot of videos that I want you to watch. Check over on the right side of the screen. You'll see a whole list of the videos. Um, I do my live streams twice a week. So this week, two days ago, I did a live stream on how to deal with change. I think that's a really good one to think about. A lot of change in the economy, a lot of change in our world, how to process that, how to deal with it, where to go when your cheese has moved. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing tips on marketing your home that hasn't sold quickly. This is primarily designed for real estate agents, but the truth is if you're a home seller, that's a great video to watch because I'm going to be live at 1.30 on Wednesday, the uh, what 8th, and I'll be talking about ways and tactics to sell your home faster and ways in which we can leverage some creative opportunities to market your home to make it more appealing to a wider range of buyers. There are still a lot of buyers out there. I have a lot of buyers right now that are still thinking about buying, that are writing offers. Um, we have a strong market. I do not see the market crashing. I've said this over and over again, but we've definitely leveled off. What we're seeing is price reductions that are in large part coming because sellers are still overpricing their home. Real estate agents really need to be firmer with their sellers, but that's hard because a seller is convinced that, hey, if you don't list my house at this, I'll go to somebody else and list it for a higher amount. It isn't until they test it on the market and find out three weeks later that it hasn't sold that reality sets in. So I don't see huge price reductions that I think are dipping into true value. I see price reductions for over anxious sellers, over confident sellers that are lowering their price because they have to get back in line to reality that there is no unicorn buyer from the Bay Area that's going to show up and sweep them off their feet and pay them $150,000 more than their house is really worth, which is what we've been dealing with for the last couple of years. All right. A couple other videos that I want to make sure you watch. Um, I just finished a video on helping family buy homes. So if you're thinking about helping a family member buy a home or you're somebody that wants to buy a home but thinks you need help from family, check out that video. It's an hour long, but it is super packed in content and really good information. That's linked over here. Um, next Friday, I'll be talking about the fight between renters versus owners. Is it better to rent or is it better to own? Sign up for that one because I'm going to argue both sides and really team homeowner right here. So I am going to in the end say why I think it's better to be a homeowner. But the fact is there's a lot of people who think, hey, it's better to be a renter in today's market. And I'm going to explore those thoughts and I'm going to run the numbers and I'm going to talk about the concepts and give you some thinking on why that isn't always the case. Remember, everything is predicting the future and nobody can do that accurately, but I'm going to give you some thoughts on both sides of that. Um, and then guys, we are definitely in a position to be able to negotiate more. Huge opportunity. Check out my video about the shifting market and the market correction that we're seeing and what that means as a buyer, because if you got out of the market and you waited and said, you know what, I'm out, I'm not buying anymore, I don't want to fight to find a home, now's your time to think about it. Check out that video. And last but not least is I released a video this week uh, on two things. One is the difference between FHA and conventional. I get that question all the time. John, what is FHA versus conventional? Why does it matter? Check out that video. The final one is the next installment in my series of down payment assistance programs. This one talks about a program from the state of California, California Housing Finance Administration, and how they use FHA and USDA to give you up to six and a half percent towards your down payment and closing costs. Phenomenal opportunities to help people become homeowners today. Guys, it is still a good market. 
It is still a good opportunity to buy a home. We don't know if market prices are going to be significantly higher or the same or lower in a year or two years, but there has never been a 10-year history in the past. Even the Great Recession in 2007, 2008, prices were not lower 10 years later. By 2018, prices were back to or above where they were in 2008. So if you're in it for the long run, it's a great opportunity. Please share the word. Share all of these videos. So if you know anybody who that might apply to or you just want to post it on your social media, I would appreciate it very, very much. Holler if you need anything and have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.